Hello and welcome to the best womp tutorial ever, episode 1. Today we're just going to make a little guy. So let's start by deleting both the spheres from the default scene. I am going to keep the cube for this model and just sort of expand off of that. First up, I'll add some arms and legs by duplicating my cube, dragging it out, switching my shape to a cylinder, and kind of reshaping those while holding option to make it a nice little nubby leg. Then we can easily duplicate this shape and rotate it around to make the rest of the limbs. So this is a pretty solid fit so far, very sturdy. I think I'm going to add his head right in the middle of the body. I'll start that by duplicating my cube, making it negative, fully rounding it out, and scaling it down while holding option to keep it centered. Then I can just drag it to the front to leave an opening for our head shape. Now we can easily duplicate that negative sphere, recolor it, make it positive, and drag it outside of the union with all the pink shapes so it doesn't goop in with those. Now let's do the rest of the face. I'll duplicate the head and use negatives to make two eye sockets. I then put the eyeballs into a separate union just like the head. Let's go with some beautiful brown eyes for this little creature um, and keep them in the same union so they melt in with the white part and keep a smooth shape. Now onto the mouth, I'll just duplicate one of the eye sockets and scale that in to reshape it to a mouth. I think they'll be good with just two teeth. Rather than making two separate teeth, I'm just going to use a rectangle and sculpt in the gaps within negative rectangles. Last but not least, I'll just goop a little cylinder on for the nose. Now's a good time to take a step back and revisit the mood of the scene. Colored lights are always a good choice. We're also going to make this guy's face a little bit more colorful, adjust his eyes to be a saturated blue, and make his nose a kind of red to stand out a bit more. I also tried adding in a row of teeth at the bottom, but it kind of made him look threatening, so we undid that pretty quick. Um, last step, I think this outfit might be pretty cool with some bunny ears, so I'm just gonna do those with a curve made of spheres. I do that by adding in the curve, deleting the second point, and I just set the first point into place so I can duplicate, drag, and rescale each point to make a sort of a funky ear shape as I go along. Now I'll just duplicate that to make the second ear, reposition those points to make it feel more natural, and we're all done. Kind of giving Louise from Bob's Burgers a bit, but we will take it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe and maybe even share this video if you have a friend or a colleague or an enemy that might like Womp. Also, uh, tune in next week where this character becomes a demon and demands a sacrifice.